The U.S. is quickly approaching 50 million COVID cases since the virus first appeared almost two years ago. The Omicron variant, now reported in at least 20 states, is adding new cases to that total. This morning, Pfizer said an initial study shows a booster shot of its vaccine can neutralize the Omicron strain. Other data indicate it could cause less severe illness than other variants, but there is still so much we don't know. And that is why CBS News medical contributor Dr. David Eggers is here to help sort it out. Let's start with that breaking news from Pfizer that we, that we just got this morning as we were going on the air. So they say the booster is a, is a way to go. Does that mean if you have two vaccines that you're not protected when it comes to Omicron? Yeah, so there was an initial study out of South Africa and with their scientists there. And now with Pfizer, what they're showing is, is that two shots isn't enough. And with two shots, you can get significant breakthrough and you lose so many antibodies that it's not enough to protect you. The good is, is that three shots is. You get a 25-fold increase in antibodies and you retain the spots on the T cells that attack the virus. So that's really positive news that it can blunt the infection, no hospitalizations and hopefully no serious illness with those boosters. And we're seeing booster numbers go up in the United yeah. States yeah, like, every yeah. day more and more. So Omicron is pushing people to get in line and get that booster. But David, how dangerous is Omicron? Omicron? It seems the initial things are showing that it's highly transmissible, but it's not as deadly. Is that true? The answer is we just don't know. And still, I know that gets you know. upset it whenever does, I say that. It does, because for three that. weeks, you guys have been saying we're, we're, we're waiting for the data, waiting for the data, waiting. And when I say you guys, I mean you expert people. It's us guys yes. versus you How guys. How much longer do we have to wait to get the data? So we're going to have to wait probably another two weeks. And what the data are showing now is that in South Africa, it probably is a milder variant, but it's about twice as contagious. So if it's half as aggressive and twice as contagious, that means that you're going to get significant numbers of hospitalizations, especially here. And what we don't know is if those people that have broken through in South Africa, many of them may have had prior COVID and others and had some protection. So we really don't know with the data from Denmark and the United Kingdom, which have very similar medical systems to ours and are very transparent with the data, are going to come due when over the next come? seven to 10 days. Okay. And we will know a lot more. Um, I know it's frustrating for everybody in this country, but we know it is remarkably infectious, and we know it is causing hospitalizations, yeah. especially there are more hospitalizations in younger kids than we've seen with the other variants. So it is worrisome, just not how worrisome we don't know yet. But I think you need to give us some numbers to say we may be done with COVID, but COVID is not done with us. This is still a real problem here. Oh, yeah. I mean, we're we have COVID numbers. fatigued, yeah. over 100,000 new cases a day. 1,200 deaths yesterday in the United States, and we're averaging above 1,000 deaths a day. Those are 1,000 people, friends, relatives, family members that have lost their life a day here in the United States from the Delta variant. That's not even the, the new Omicron variant. And how should we move in the world? Christmas is now, this is the 8th, 25th, okay, 17 days away. So how should we move in the world? My barometer is going to an event if you have to, I always ask the COVID protocols. Do you have to have tested before you come? And do you have the vaccine? Now I'm going to ask for the booster. Christmas holidays, what should people do when they're traveling about? What's the rules? So Omicron's going to start peaking here in January. So yeah. we're going to have cases over the next couple of weeks, but it's not going to become dominant until January. But what I can tell you now is that the current travel is relatively low risk. Right, the air on the airplane every four minutes is filtered with a HEPA filter that takes that virus. And we've all gotten used to traveling with masks on. You follow the regulations, I think you're going to be safe. Mm -hmm. So traveling over the holidays is going to be okay. The key thing is we have home testing. And I know you say, Do you well, think those are reliable? Uh, you will always give me this look when I say that. <laughs> yeah. And I know that look. And yes, I do think they're reliable to say over the next six hours when you're at the event that you're not going to be contagious to others. It's not saying, don't you have a low level of virus within you? Mm -hmm. It's saying, do you have enough virus to be contagious? And they're very good. Okay. And I think they're very important. And they're accessible to everybody in the country. You can go online and get them. Go to your pharmacy and get them. It's accessible and it's affordable and it provides protection. All right. Wear your mask on the plane and remember to take it off when you go to drink. And I did it the other day and it was all in my lap. You forget you have it on. <laughs> I've done that. With two O's move. Several yeah. times. All right. But, but wear your mask. Get that booster. All right. Yes. Definitely get the booster. David, thank you. Good to see you. And by the way, David Agus, what are you doing tonight, David Agus? I am going to be on the Stephen Colbert show. Yeah. I am scared but excited. Uh, you'll be all right. You don't want to miss 